Hey everybody, Acting Tough Gaming here, and in today's video, I want to show you how to solve the Clock Tower puzzle in Remnant 2. Completing this rewards you with one of the best weapon mods in the game, so it's definitely worth your time. The first thing you're going to need to do is make note of what time is shown on the Clock Tower. Your time might be different than mine, so just remember where the hands are. Once you get the time, you're going to head over to the Lamarck District, and this area is really small, so it's hard to miss the house that we're looking for. It's a rundown house with a basement full of clocks. You want to run to the clock that's on the back wall and input the time that was on the clock tower previously. Remember, yours could be different. And out will pop the clockwork pinion. You need to take this pinion back to the clock tower in the Forsaken Quarter, and you need to head to the very top floor. I'm taking the elevator because I have already been to the top of the tower. If you haven't been, you're going to need to climb your way up to the top on foot. Upon reaching the top, you are going to head over to the gears and input the pinion, and then you're going to be turning the flywheel that is attached to the system. After a few rotations, the gears are going to start turning on their own, and the broken timepiece is going to drop out on the ledge. Pick that up and bring it back to Ward 13, and you can craft the Time Lapse mod, which in my opinion is one of the best weapon mods in the game for its ability to freeze and slow enemies down significantly. If the locations or anything else were different for your campaign or adventure role, let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Have a nice day.